right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is. I don't even know why I got this thing going, man. If you like the video, like the maybe that's why I had it on to hold my hair back. Subscribe for more daily 2K content. Let's get right into it. First of all, yes, I am watching Countdown Inspiration for Yes, it's an awesome documentary on Netflix. Second of all, if you ain't subscribed to Brutal Sims new channel, Brute Reacts, make sure you do that. Link is down in the description. It's going to be the only link down in the description. Go over there, check him out, because he's dropping videos every day until his ordinary channel get back. And otherwise, let's just get right into it, man. NBA 2K22. We're going to forego the whole, the big intro and stuff, man. Y'all wasn't watching it anyway. Y'all wasn't rocking with Lido anyway, so it don't even matter. But we're just going to get right into it. This is the ultimate two-way support guard, lockdown, whatever you want to call it, man. This is, I, I feel like... I feel like it's the ultimate two-way support guard, blah, 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 all that good stuff because it does everything that I want to do. Obviously, it's named Jay Easy. Uh, we chose point guard. Uh, we, obviously, we went 6'5". Everybody about 6'5 this year. I went... I wanted, I went with this uh, according to my three-point uh, shot. I wanted an 88 three-pointer. You can obviously go below that, but um, and you don't need it. But the reason I went with the 88 three-pointer, I'm going to show you on the other side of this. Also, weight, um, we went with 187. The reason that we went with 187 is because I wanted to have 90 acceleration. So I had to go 187 in, uh, in order to get that that 90 acceleration and 92 speed and uh and also have 50 strength and have all the other stats that i wanted them to have now i'm gonna tell you what about speed man they're going to change the speed table like everybody it's like i got 92 speed and then i got the plus four so it's like 96 and i'm still the same speed as everybody else they are going to adjust that speed table because it bro you got centers chasing people down like i've seen centers centers are, are literally getting the uh getting the block or or they taking the shot from the corner. You're passing it out to the guard. The center's sprinting from the other end with low speed, catching the guard that's got 99 speed with ball and chasing it down. Obviously, they're gonna change their speed table just like they did in uh, 2K20. It was an issue at the beginning of the 20. They also gonna tone down shooting and they gonna tone down reaching. So if you made your guard, I made my guard by the numbers. I didn't make it for all this cheesy BS. And they gonna tone down their speed boost too. So, you know, they're gonna, they gonna change a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but this is for the game in the long term, not necessarily right now. Obviously, I know I don't need all this shooting. Obviously, I know I don't need all this stuff, but I made this guy specifically because I wanted very specific things. And uh, here we go. Check it out. Close shot 50 just because they made me have it. Driving layup 50. Bro, this is plenty. It's plenty. And, and the only reason I got it at, at 50 is because they forced me to have it because you got to have it for dunking or whatever. So uh, 70 dunk. I can get almost all the I can get all the dunks that I want, but at the same time, you know, it, it, it's enough for me to be able to catch backdoor lobs because this is a us bill right here. I want to be able to catch backdoor lobs. I want to be able to, uh, you know, go to the rim if I needed to. Uh, you know, pump fake out the corner, do all that. This is enough to do that. I can dunk it if ain't nobody down there, so I'd be cool. Mid range went with 80, 80 mid range. I just wanted to be consistent. I probably could have gone lower than that on the mid range, but I think if I would have gone any lower. I'd have lost a badge or something, so yeah. So if I go to 78, I lose a badge. So I was like, I mean, I can't really put that anywhere else anyway, so I went with 80 on that. I went with 88 three-point shot because of this right here. Right here, you see right here, I wanted to have gold uh, mid I mean, gold uh, blinders on gold or whatever. And it seems like you really don't even need them, but if they adjust some stuff, maybe you will. So I needed an 88 three-point shot or 88 mid-range. I didn't want to have 88 uh, mid-range because I don't take them that much. So that was that. And I also wanted to have um, dead eye on goal. So to get dead eye on goal, you got to have an 87 three-pointer. So I figured if I might as well, if I had to have an 87 three-pointer, I might as well have an 88 three-pointer. And that was the easiest one to do. Corner specialist, man, trust me, you don't even really need that. But 88, 87 three-pointer also gives you that uh, limited spot up you had to have. Uh, what, just an 82 three-pointer. I couldn't get the 93. It didn't matter what I had done. So it didn't matter. Uh, you know, everything else. It seems like, you know, like I said, sniper badge, we just need 80. Truthfully, shooting badges at this point are largely irrelevant because it seems like everybody's hitting everything. But I feel like as more people get menace, intimidator, and all of that stuff, man, like you're hitting everything, but you're hitting everything wide open. If you have, I mean, what, what's like even a 10% contest, bro, you're missing on this game, it seems like. Free throw, I would have put it on zero if I could have, but I wanted the badges. So, you know, uh, 
And I probably could have put it on down. Like, does free throw even give you any badges? Bro, free throw doesn't even give you no badge. So if you're playing in the park, obviously you can skimp on. If you're never gonna play wreck or anything like that, or you feel like you're never gonna have a ball in the clutch moments in the wreck, obviously just choose. Just you can put that free throw down and put it somewhere else. But bro, like when you take this free throw down, it's like it's like literally one point of something else or whatever like that. So I kind of I probably could have put just look at it. I'm done. So you know I just put the free throw up because I do play wreck and all that. But just keep in mind you can take it down and put it somewhere else. Uh, pass accuracy. I wanted this build to be very particular and special to what I wanted to do. So the reason I put pass accuracy up because you gotta have pass accuracy on 86 in order to have gold. Um, in order to have gold. Uh, uh, what's this? Bailout. Um, don't care about break start. It looks like everybody can throw the ball. Also have to have 85 to have gold bullet pass. I wanted that because last year you really needed gold bullet pass and all that good stuff. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, floor general. Uh, I wanted to have floor general just to test it out because I know they say you don't need floor general. Obviously, you don't need it to shoot. But giving my point guard a few and everybody else on the floor a few extra points toward their dribbling speed with ball and all that, I think that's going to be dope. Uh, to do that, had to have 88 pass accuracy. That's why I went with 88 pass accuracy. Like I said, you can sacrifice these stats and make it a little bit more to your liking. My boy Nino made it with no playmaking, and he's hooping, he balling. So, you know, but I, I wanted a specific name and all that stuff. You can get post playmaker. I don't care about that. Needle thread, I needed that. So if I find out that, like, bailout, I can get away with that on bronze and, and bullet pass on bronze, I'll probably go with needle thread. I, I, I know you need to have glue hands. So you have to have your ball handling on 67. Glue hands just help you catch the ball better. Right now, it seems like you don't need all this stuff, but I promise you, I feel like as they change the game, you're going to need these stats or what have you. Quick first step, I've seen the quick first step. Um, I wanted minimal quick first step, so I put my speed with ball at 50. Um, and the reason that I did that was because, um, and I wonder if I would have put this a little bit lower you know, could I have maxed out my interior? But I, I'm getting off track. I, I wanted that because I felt like with 67 ball handling, um, I, I, all I wanted my speed with ball to be able to do is be able to catch the ball and then sprint to the rim and get a, you know, get the layup and stuff without the dude catching me from behind. I feel like I can do that right now. So uh, with with Ron's quick first step, it seems like it's cool. And the reason that, and one thing about this that's kind of deceptive is gold bail, because I want to run gold bail out, gold, um, Gold bullet passer, gold glue hands, and glow and gold floor general. So I had to go to uh, Michigan State so that I could get 18 of the uh, of the badges or what have you. And uh, so now I'll be able to do that. So I went to Michigan State so I could have the ones that I want. So I want a gold disc, I want a gold bullet passer, gold bailout, gold glue hands, and that's exactly 18. I probably gonna take uh, bailout down to like I'll probably take bailout down to like um, silver maybe if i can get away with that and then i put on quick first step and then um like one of these other joints man you know some like something like i don't need helmets for days or space crazy maybe like i'll put on something else maybe unpluckable or something like that dimer i don't know downhill maybe i'll put that on you know I, i'm gonna do something like that but um you know if i can get away with it but we'll just see how that goes uh, on to the next one man we got defense interior i wanted max interior on this guy um 60 doesn't give you anything special like let's say if i take this away and i put this up to 60 it doesn't give me anything so i just left it on 58 um hindsight probably could have put it on 50 but hey it is what it is um so perimeter defense 95 steel 95 Probably should have put that on up because we know that pickpocket and all that's ridiculous. But man, I'm still I'm getting steals right now with no pickpocket. Now I know they're going to change that and I know they're gonna nerf that. But right now I'm getting steals without pickpocket. I can get up the gold pickpocket when it gets there. But if it's like last year, bro, you're really not even gonna be able to get no steals anyway on ball if they change it like everybody's crying for them to change and stuff. Like we haven't really had a, a whole bunch of issues with people stealing the ball. But at the same time, maybe we haven't had any spammers or maybe the guard that we play with, he just knows how to play around this stuff. Who knows, man? But it is what it is. So still, 95 so I can play on ball. Um, if I'd have gone a little bit higher, I could have got, I could have got, um, I could have got, what was this, one point higher, I think? And it would have given me 
giving me um, Hall of Fame pickpocket. But last year, I didn't notice a big difference between Hall of Fame. Because if I got Hall of Fame, I'm thinking every time I touch the, touch the button, I should get it. Also, sometimes I completely take pickpocket off because it keeps me from reaching. So, you know, it is what it is. Block, I, mac I put that up to 65. The reason I put it to 65 is because one of the badges that you need, uh, you're going to need it to have... What do you have to have? Is it a uh, chase down artist? Uh, it's gotta be 70. I, can I get this to 70? I don't think I can even get it to 70. Yeah, it maxes out at 67. So um, so we put it on 65 just so we could have, it's one of these, uh, Intimidator. I want an Intimidator on, I want an Intimidator on silver. No way I was getting the 81 to be able to get it on gold. So boom, we want Intimidator there. Offensive rebound, I just maxed it out um almost put it at 75 defensive rebound at 77 reason i wanted that because i um just so i can get rebounds you got to be able to secure those possessions especially when you're playing with people you go up to block the shot blah 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 and then sometimes man it's just like like i don't want them to get the rebound i don't want guards getting rebound i want to be able to chase it down protect the rim and then also secure the board uh, over them and then for physicals obviously like we said we went for max speed max acceleration which it seems like it doesn't matter now but it will in the future um we went with strength uh max strength on 50 i just went with a 51 vertical because all you need because it's really 55 with the uh with gym rat uh and i'll put a video up on how to get gym rat later uh let's see vertical is, is 51. I just did that because 50 is like the minimum that you need to get most of the good dunk package. Y'all know I don't use nothing but quick drops, play boy. And then also, at the, uh, also we got uh, stamina at 95, man. The stamina at 95. We did stamina at 95 because you know with the plus four, you're going to get, um, it'll be 99. So we'll be good. And uh, that's that's basically the bill. The takeover I took, extreme clamps, and enhanced uh, shot contest. And uh, when you do this, you will have a three and D point. And uh, like I said, I'm liking it. Shades of Drew Holiday, Lonzo Ball, and Baron Davis. I ain't even know B Diddy played defense like that. But yo, like I said, man, the build to me is pretty dope. I'm enjoying it. I, I think it's, uh, I don't even know why I went to current gen. I think it's a good build. I'm enjoying it so far, man. The joint, the joint is actually, uh, he's holding his own out there. He's able to hoop. Also, if you ain't done nothing else, man, go check out Brutus Sim, Brute Br Br Reacts, man. His channel, his his other channel got hacked. He's trying to get this joint back on road, on the road. So please go over there and check him out, man. One of my closest personal friends. He probably streaming right now, so go to his stream and all that good stuff. And I just want to show y'all, man. Um, look, look. I got Jim Rat, and I'm gonna give y'all the secret sauce on how to get Jim Rat today. I mean, you know, I, I think everybody probably know by now, but if you don't know, let me know down in the comment section. Drop a like on the video. And uh, I'm gonna holler at y'all next time, man. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Gosh, wait. Let me show y'all right quick, man. Just you know, people telling y'all how to get it. And they ain't even got it. I got it. I got Jim Rat, dog, dag, nabbit. Yes, I got it, man. I'm gonna holler at y'all, man. Peace. Gosh, wait. Gosh, wait.